what is going on guys welcome back to another video now this is not just a normal video this is something that you guys have been re requesting <laughs> requesting me for such a long time and i think this is the perfect time to make it they call it the spin tutorial but before i just jump into this i just want to point out that this is my point of view considering spinner right and spin is a natural phenomenon it's an idea and it is a perspective that differs from person to person so whatever i'm going to be speaking in the video might not match 100 percent with you guys or with some other great players so uh, i don't know but if you guys do enjoy this video leave a like and if you're new then leave a like and subscribe for more amazing content now i'm gonna start off with the basics all right because if the basics are not clear you may find a difficult time to understand the whole concept i'm gonna start off with the backspin i know that's stupid but backspin i mean generally means that when you're hitting a ball straight in line you're aiming it straight and you apply backspin and hit it with some force the cue ball is gonna come exactly in the opposite direction in which your ball that you just hit is going I mean you can relate that to Newton's third law of something I mean every action has an equal and opposite reaction that is exactly how backspin works now topspin is just the opposite of backspin or screw back whatever you want to call it. it it's just like it's called follow also sometimes and the reason is because if you're hitting a ball by using topspin the, the cue ball is gonna follow that ball it's gonna go in the same direction I mean uh, in which the ball that you just hit is going now that were just simple things that I just told and that most people know now sometimes what happens guys you're not aiming in a straight line and it happens most of the time and your aim might be told that slightly towards the left or towards the right and you have to use backspin now in such cases the cue ball is gonna come back but in a different angle and that angle depends on how much your aim is tilted so just go, I would recommend you guys to go to practice offline mode and use the cue which you use regularly. So the next thing is the top spin with some tilted angle. Now in this case as well, the cue ball is going to follow the ball, but in a curve form. Like if it's tilted towards the left, it's going to go like this and to the right, it's going to go like this. Yeah, I know I'm looking like a construction engineer or something giving these examples, but but this is how it works basically guys and this line that you, you're seeing highlighted on the screen this is what is going to help you in determining in which direction your cue ball will actually go now the main thing side spins i'm not gonna lie this was the last thing that i learned in this game and i was like why do people use it why left spin right spin what is the purpose i mean it doesn't do anything now this spin is mainly used i mean 95 percent of the time when you're hitting a rail all right in a ball that is close to a rail so i mean it's not that difficult guys the the actual meaning is in the name itself you're seeing on the screen right now i'm hitting the cue ball on the top rail by adding left spin and the cue ball will simply go to the left hand side of the table now i'm gonna hit it to the right side by using right spin and it's just gonna come to the right hand side of the table now it might be looking pretty simple but it's actually not when you're you know hitting a ball that is close to the rail so this is an example over here if you want to hit a ball and you want to adjust the position of the cue ball by using spin you can use either right or left spin now the main thing comes is the use of force and now this thing depends from cue to cue and this is why i see on some other youtube you know spin tutorial videos people are saying that the, the things are not working i mean uh, the same way as it's working with you and this is why this is the reason i'm saying go and practice in offline mode with the cue that you're using because spin differs cue to cue so you have to keep in mind the force that you are using while hitting a ball on the rail now the lesser force you'll use the lesser the spin will work and you have to use a moderate amount of spin so as to actually control the cue ball where you want now don't overpower the shot i mean that would end up you know misplacing the cue ball or ending up you know scratching but if you really do need to you know overpower it as per the circumstances there is no problem now this is where it gets a bit trickier right now in in the situations that we have been discussing earlier the cue ball the cue ball was on the bottom of the table and the balls that we were hitting were on the top now if the situation is opposite like the cue ball is on the top of the table and the ball that you're hitting is on the bottom rail now the spins will work exactly in an opposite manner now it might sound a bit surprising but if you want to bring the cue ball to the left you have to use right spin and if you want to bring it to the right you have to use left spin it's the vice versa obviously now i was actually a bit confused at first that why do we have to use you know the opposite direction spin i mean i have to bring it to the left why i'm using right spin 
I found out that from our point of view, this is the right hand side of the you know cue ball and this is the left. But from the cue ball's point of view, if you turn your phone 180 degrees, you will find out that you know it's just the opposite. This is the left hand side and this is the right hand side from the cue ball's point of view. So this is the reason we just you know reverse the spins if the cue ball is on the top of the table. Now guys, it is time to discuss the left rail and the right rail of the table. Now, as you're seeing on the screen right now, I am aiming on the yellow ball. Now, the, the thing is, we have to keep in mind once again, what is the left hand side and the right hand side from the cue ball's point of view. Now, in this case, this is the right hand side and this is the left hand side. So obviously, if I'm gonna use left spin, the cue ball is gonna come to the left after hitting the ball and the rail and it's gonna happen the vice versa if I'm gonna use right spin so why why I'm taking so less time in you know making you guys understand this because I don't want to let you guys think that this is so difficult and difficult it is not actually difficult it is easy guys once you get the concept it, it's easy now the right rail now this time the right hand side is this and the left hand side is that you just have to analyze which is the right and left side from the cue ball and once you you are able to do this believe me it will be a piece of cake this is the main thing that you have to realize while using side spins that which is you know which side from the cue ball's point of view so as you're seeing it's i mean i think i'm i'm sure you guys are getting an idea what i'm trying to prove in this video okay guys so the last thing is stun shots now this is uh this comes in use when you have to you know make position now when you have to do a stun shot you have to use some backspin it, it depends on the situation now the backspin depends this is an important thing the farther the cue ball is from the ball that you're hitting the more backspin you should put and and the closer they are the less backspin you should put now once you have set the backspin you have to understand the force uh i mean with which you hit to actually make a stun shot so go right now in practice offline mode and just try to do it i mean and yeah one thing more stun shots only work when you are in straight line i mean the aim is straight all right then only the stun shots work so yeah guys this was it if you did enjoy this video please do leave a like we'll try to hit 300 or something like there are so many insects over here man but seriously guys uh it was a great fun actually making this video and helping all of you guys we are very close to 10,000 subs it, actually if you guys have an idea like what i should do for the 10,000 sub special just leave a comment down below uh any like real life challenges or whatever you guys want uh just feel free to drop drop it in the comments i'm not able to speak there's so many insects around here man You see the anthem of your stars tonight we are